I work on a cruise ship and today I'm going to be breaking down exactly how much I spend in a given week. One of the pros of working on ships is how much you can save money, but with little expenses adding up, well, we'll see how true this really is. Jumping straight into it, one of the first expenses is transportation. For the most part, Liberty of the Seas is my primary mode of transportation and is 100% free. But for more important, my favorite way to get around is actually biking. Now you may be wondering, are you allowed to bring a bike on board? Well, actually, no, you cannot. <laughs> As a crew member, you can actually rent a bike from the HR Center for only $5. I usually do this once or twice a week on our turnaround days, which ultimately leads me to my next expense, which is food. Really quick, future Ali here. So since originally filming that, I now have a bulging disc in my back. <laughs> I am fine, but unfortunately I can no longer ride my bike. So $60 a week on Uber now. And back to what I was saying, the next category is food. But before working here, I had no idea that all the food was free. When you work on a cruise ship, you get complimentary meals at no place other than the crew, crew mess. Welcome to the crew mess. This is the main place that crew members get to eat on the ship. The mess is definitely where I spend the most time, but on turnaround days, I religiously go to Living Green in Fort Lauderdale. Guys, their Wi-Fi is amazing and it is such a good environment for working and it has incredible food. So, so basically, basically I pay to sit here for five to six hours. In total, I end up spending about $50 per week here and occasionally yeah, I might go to Publix to get some groceries. I'm not a big snack person, but I have recently been going to the store to pick up vinegar. This is for my salad to make my own dressings, and it is only $3.50, so a steal. And with that in mind, I only get a bottle one to two times per month, which would put me about $1.75 per week. That means that the total for food is only $52 per week. And in comparison to what I spend on land, that's not too bad. Now you may be wondering, what about shopping? Well, fun fact, this is actually my lowest expense. Living a life of minimalism is something that I've been working towards, so I don't have shopping as one of my regular spending habits. Recently, I'll go shopping for quality items once or twice a year, and after doing the math, that comes up to about $10 per week. Personally, I don't think that's too bad. And then by saving money in this area, I'm able to spend more in here, which is... Welcome to my bathroom. Yeah. Skincare, hair care, makeup, and hygiene. We may not have to pay for things like electricity and water, but any personal hygiene product does have to be purchased individually. Lucky for me, in the beginning of the year, I brought all of my products for the entire contract in my suitcase, and it has pretty much lasted the entire time. Because of this, this is not a recurring expense for me, but if I split it across the entire year, it's about $20 per week. So when I first started collecting data for this video, not gonna lie, it was a little bit of a slap in the face. Here's the thing, when I'm on ships, I do find it a bit harder to manage my money because there is so much going on and I think I do get a little bit comfortable with the fact that I know I don't have too many expenses, but that has come back to haunt me. Recently, I've learned that there's a couple subscriptions I've been subscribed to since, I don't know, 2021 and guys i honestly just did not realize it it's embarrassing to say but it's true but those things add up thankfully i started using an app called rocket money and it has been so helpful plus it's the sponsor of today's video but guys do not click away you need to hear me out this app could literally change your life or at least help manage your money better if you haven't heard of Rocket Money, it is a personal finance app which lets you access all the key finance features all in one, like making a custom budget, lowering bills, and canceling unwanted subscriptions. Yeah, I'm looking at you. She was paying for two of the same subscription at the same time. You're embarrassing us. I am beyond thankful for Rocket Money for making my financial management so much easier. I'm totally guilty of letting life get in the way of my finances at times, but Rocket Money has helped save an average of $720 per year and over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. And they make it so easy. To save way more money and spend less, join me and the other 5 million members of Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash wanderlustalley or click the link in my description below to get started for free and unlock even more premium features at rocketmoney.com slash wanderlustalley. Thank you Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Using Rocket Money is a great reminder that I'm not putting money where I don't need to. For example, I'm not putting money into a gym membership right now. And honestly, right now I'm able to save so much money for two reasons. First of all, look at this amazing sunrise view. The 
this ship has an incredible top deck jogging track. And recently I've been waking up early in the morning every single day to do my backwards walking. Don't question the backwards walking. It is amazing for your knees. <laughs> and aside from this, for us, going to the guest gym is free. And not gonna lie, the gym is pretty great. The gym has pretty much every single amenity that I would need. The only thing that we don't have access to is the classes as crew members, but we can make do. When I'm on land, I always have a gym membership and I'm always taking dance classes, which usually comes up to about $100 per week. So, so in, in this, this gym, I am saving big time. Another area where I'm currently able to save a lot of money is in excursions. Earlier in this contract, we were in Bermuda all the time. Not gonna lie, I actually did spend a lot of money here, but regardless of how expensive a port is, something that the crew has access to is shore excursions. I used to do these all the time and guess how much I spent? Nothing. They're 100% free for the crew, which is definitely important because it leaves some financial room for my highest expense, which is internet. When you work on a ship, something you don't get for free is Wi-Fi. Believe it or not, when you work on a ship, it costs $3.99 per hour to use the internet. And even when you do buy it, it's honestly just not super strong because naturally you're in the middle of the ocean. As a crew member, we do get 120 free minutes per week, but that is really not a lot. Plus this year, I've really prioritized growing this channel and of course staying connected with people on land. I was honestly a little scared to see my CPAS statement and it ended up coming up to about $60 per week. Nonetheless, it still hurts. In total, after adding up all of these categories, I spend a total of about $142 per week. Not gonna lie, this was very humbling. I was hoping it would be a little bit lower. However, this is still way lower than what I spend when I'm living on land, so I'm gonna say it's a win. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video interesting and or helpful, I'd very much appreciate a like and subscribe if you are not already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!